Hey kiddos, today we're gonna start with some review, then we'll dive into number stories. So grab your things and let's get started. Okay, so I think that we are gonna be able to do the equations that I've written out just mentally. So we've got a friend for each equation. So let's do the equation that we have with mouse. Now, if you have a whiteboard at home, I'd like you to try to beat me. So I'm gonna say the equation and then you write it. See if you can get it faster than me. Are you ready? Okay, so we're gonna start with mouse first. We have five tenths plus four tenths and that equals? Did you remember that five plus four equals nine? Nine tenths is really close to what number? You got it, it's really close to one whole. All right, let's take a look. Now we have two hundredths plus eight hundredths. What does that give us? Ready, go. Did you remember that eight plus two equals 10? And when we talk about 10 hundredths, that's just one tenth. All right, that was our dear, now we're onto our snail problem. Ready, we have nine tenths, take a look at this minus eight tenths. Ready, go. Did you say that leaves us with one tenth? Way to go. All right, quack, quack, quack. on to duck's problem. Six hundredths, again, minus three hundredths. What do we get? Ready, go. Did you say that leaves us with three hundredths? Okay, last one's a little bit different, but I still want you to try to use mental math. This is Kat's problem, four and seven tenths plus three and six tenths. You have a couple different ways you can go, so think about it. Ready, set, go. Did you get eight and three tenths? When we put together our seven tenths and six tenths, we get 1.3 or 13 tenths. We have to add that to our four plus three is seven. Seven plus 1.3, we get 8.3. There we go, a nice little review to get us warmed up and started. Okay, you ready for some number stories? Let's do it. For our first number story, we've got Owl going shopping. Wow, some things you have to pick up there, huh? At a store, Owl paid $1.75 for a pen, $3.99 for a pair of slippers, so cozy for <laughs> Owl's little claws, and $5.40 for a book. We wanna know how much Owl spent all together. What kind of a problem do you see? What kind of equations will we be working on? Did you say addition? We've gotta put some things together, don't we? And we can show that with a bar. I think um, we could do a continuous bar. Let's see how we do it. I'm gonna do a nice size bar because Owl makes how many different purchases? Yeah, three different purchases. So let's fit them all together in our bar. Alrighty. So we've got this $1.75 for a pen, $3.99 for a pair of slippers, and $5.40 for a book. In this case, we don't need to worry about the size of the little sections of our bars. We're not trying to represent that, but we just, in a sense, want enough room to write our numbers. So let's, um, this will be the pen, and that was $1.75. You can see I'm dropping the dollar sign for the convenience of the space and all that. And we have a pair of slippers, and the slippers cost $3.99, so we'll just say 3.99. And then we've got a book, and the book was $5.40. So in a sense, this number story is a part part whole problem. It just happens that there are three parts and we want to know the total at the end. So can you see how we can solve for this? That's right, we just have to do some addition. Now, when I'm looking at this, I think there's some mental math we can do and um, let's take a look at what I'm thinking. I wonder what you're thinking. Do you see one of the numbers on here that's really close to something that would be easier to work with? Yes, this 399 is really close to what? Really close to four. 
All right, let's just show that. And if you want to, you can remember that in a way, we have just added an extra one hundredth. So at some point, we'll have to remove a hundredth. Now, what do we say for four plus 175? That gives us, good, 575. And then we have to add 575 to 540. What does that give us? We can um, just maybe just here, let me move this guy over here. We're gonna remember this. We're gonna have to take that one away. But I think we can do this right here. Five plus zero gives us five hundredths. Seven plus four gives us what? Yeah, 11 tenths. So you have to be thinking about moving that one into our whole number there. And then we've got five plus five is 10. And one more gives us 11. But now remember this, we just need to subtract one hundredth from 15 and that gives us <laughs> 14 hundredths there. And that gives us our total. Um, we're gonna take our information from there and record it here. So, Owl, looks like you spent $11.14. Nice job, everybody. Let's try another one. All right, this time we have Foxy with us. Let's read a number story with Foxy. Foxy has a white ribbon and a blue ribbon. So two pieces, right? The white ribbon is 1.85 meters long. The blue ribbon is 1.4 meters longer than the white ribbon. Find the total length of the two white ribbons. So let's think about this. If our blue ribbon is longer than the white ribbon, should we do a continuous bar model or a comparison problem? You got it, we're gonna compare. So when we do comparison bars, we start out with bars that are equal size, equal shape, and equal value. So we have the white ribbon, and it is 1.85 meters. And so then for the blue ribbon, we're going to start off with the same, if you want, you can write this in here. All right. But it turns out that the blue ribbon is 1.4 meters longer than the white ribbon. So let's show that. So this is 1.4. And we want to know now the total length of the two ribbons. Now, a few videos from now, we are going to work on multiplication with decimals. We're not there yet, so I wanna just give you a little preview that once we get to using multiplication, we could take these two bars and just say that two units is equal to 1.85 times two. Now teachers, if you feel like you have a student who really is getting the number sense of decimals down and they have very good multiplication skills, if you wanted to try this, you could go ahead and then you would just add on this 1.4. But because we're not there yet, we will do it with addition. So do you wanna add the pieces of the blue ribbon together first? And let's show that what we're looking for is the whole thing. So let's give it a try. We've got step A. Do you think that you can do this um, with mental math? I think so. All right, now because we're working with hundredths in our first number, let's just pop a zero in there so we don't accidentally try to add tenths and hundredths. All right, so let's see what we get here. We've got five plus zero gives us five. Eight plus four, can you remember that? Good job, that's 12, but of course what we're talking about is two tenths and one whole, so you can show it over one.